Hello everyone! Would you quickly like to learn how to turn this into this? Keep watching! Halloween is coming very fast now and if you would like an apothecary style decor in the shops you can buy these fabulous little bottles but it's kind of expensive if you want a lot of apothecary bottles there's a few options the first thing i would like to do if i'm going for a hunt for apothecary bottles is going to the thrift store you might be surprised what you can find there like glass jars with a cork stopper and my latest find was this that's a quick tip, thrift store. And the other thing you can do, throughout the year you can collect a lot of little bottles, like medicine bottles or uh, small plant drops like these, or even vitamins. And to clean these, just uh, remove the cap and all plastic thingies under there, and remove the labels also. Oh yeah, big tip for the labels. Just soak it for a while in hot water with dish soap. And for the really stubborn labels, baby oil. That loosens every label. And the beauty is you don't need expensive things to turn this into this. Yes, it's a jar of mouse droppings, because we all need mouse droppings. So let's get started. I have an empty glass bottle here and it used to contain plant drops, I think. So what are we going to need first? some brown paper this is quite sturdy brown paper it used to protect my shoes i'm going to tear a circle shaped piece out of here about this big the idea is it has to cover the top and the neck at least and a bit more so let's start let's try to make something circular I think this will do just fine. Now first, if you would like to put something into your bottles, uh, do that first, of course, before we're going to seal it. But um, if you have brown bottles like this, you can leave it without, it's pretty anyway. And I'm going to leave it empty. empty. Take something waterproof, some water and a brush. And just really, really wet this piece of paper. It was quite sturdy to work with, but if you wet it, and that's the beauty of this, it becomes so manageable. It is very wet, as you see. The back isn't that much, it doesn't matter, but the top layer is very, very wet. And now crunch it. I'm going to remove this. There. And I'm carefully open it again. Carefully, of course. It's wet. And you have like a thousand creases in here. See how pretty that is? Crumple it again if you like. Most of the moisture is now already in the paper and not on the paper anymore. So it dries fairly quickly, actually. This piece will go over the top in a minute. And I'm going to fasten this with a piece of string. This is normal kitchen string. I bought it not for my kitchen, but for crafting, of course. It's very pretty. But I think this piece is a bit too sturdy and thick. So I'm going to unwind it, literally, and take the strands apart. And then you get these. See? Now you get three pieces. But I still think they're a bit too white. I made a bit of tea. Not for drinking, but for staining. I steeped two bags of black tea in a bit of hot water. You can use more if you like. You can use less. I normally use uh, instant coffee, but I just simply ran out of it. And I'm using tea instead now. Works just as fine. The more bags you use, the deeper the color. I'm going to soak my cords in here for a bit. Ah, just use the fingers. 
And if you've used cotton cord, of course, not synthetic, it'll take over a bit of the color. What I have now is nice old looking pieces of weathered string. Much better. I'm going to use this later too. Now for the assembly. Make sure this is still a bit wet or wet it again if you need to. Place the piece of paper over the top of your bottle and shape it with your fingers roughly in a shape and tie the string around it. Now a tip, and I'm going to do that. If you like to bulk up this piece here a bit, just use some cotton balls. Just put a bit on here, not too much, or <laughs> you choose, of course. There. And then I'm going to wrap this around here. And it has a bit of a dip different shape, you see. Then our piece of string, wrap around carefully. Tie a knot. Cut off the ends. Now this piece of paper is obviously a bit too big now, so now you can carefully tear how big you want it to be. I'm going to bring in my tea again and a brush. And I'm going to lightly go over the edges of the paper. Don't be too careful. I mean, it's the idea that it looks very old and worn. Now this is beautiful already, but I'm going to add a very pretty label to make it even more real and old looking. One of the best sellers of our shop is these very nice apothecary labels. We have like, I think more than a hundred sets of apothecary labels. It's apothecary of curiosities, fantasy apothecary, a full page of very funny small labels, poison labels and other labels. I've printed these labels because I like them so much, but of course they're too big for these bottles. And I reduced the print percentage and now they're going to look just fine for this bottle. And I think I'm going to use mouse droppings. So now we have a very pretty label. I'm going to stick that on. I'm going to choose the prettiest side. Yeah, right here. Of course, you can use any glue you like to put a piece of paper on a glass bottle, but the beauty of using tacky glue is that it's still kind of a bit wet. And if I now start pushing the label a bit, see, you're getting like really, really pretty wrinklings in here. And we're just making this better and better by the minute. See? Oh, pretty. And I'm going to take my tea again. And I'm just going to splatter it on. On the top and on the label. So look at that. Set aside, let dry and your bottle is ready. We're giving these crafting printables away to those who subscribe to our newsletter. Here's how. Click on the subscribe link below, click on the button I want this now and fill in your information. When you've done that, simply click submit. You'll receive an email with a confirmation link. Click that link and moments later you'll receive another email with a download link for your freebies. So 
Mr. Skull, would you like to make this too? I would love that. I love mouse droppings. I thought so. 